Hey guys, this is Joshua Gemma here again and with another Unreal Development Kit tutorial. And uh, this was a user requested tutorial how to create a chrome or metal uh, material and uh, also how to import a model and uh, apply a material to a model. So we're going to um, talk about how to generate a, a scene cube map using render to texture. And we're going to use that cube map. We're going to explain what a cube map is and we're going to use that. Um, along with the reflection vector and a vector transform to create a neat little chrome material. We're also going to use a Fresnel uh, modifier and we're going to uh, uh, import a model from 3D Studio, uh, apply the material to the model, place the model in the editor, and uh, I'll teach you some quick uh, in editor shortcuts when uh, manipulating uh, static meshes. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Thank you. All right, so the first thing I did is I created this uh, chrome reflection uh, spec map. So let's go ahead and save this guy. And I usually save it as a Photoshop file because you can actually import them directly uh, into the editor. So let's go ahead and import this um, reflection map. And uh, actually it's a spec map and uh, compression no alpha. I'm going to put it in a new package called uh, chrome material set. Uh, and in the group, I'm going to give it a subgroup of textures and hit OK. And uh, there's my new map. Go ahead and save this right in the default directory. OK. So we're going to have basically two textures uh, in this material. The second one is going to be generated um, in Engine, actually. And we're going to create what's called a cube map. So let's go ahead and create. Um, right click and create a new um, render to texture cube and uh, I'm going to create this in the textures group and I'll call it environment underscore RTT and uh, that's what you get okay this green thing so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and change the size to 512 this is going to be the resolution of the um, cube maps that are the textures that are going to comprise the cube map that we generate. Now the quant content browser is still open. Let's go ahead and tab to the next um, tab, which is called Actor Classes. And let's run down, uh, expand Scene Capture Actor, and select Scene Capture Cube Map Actor. Now we're going to go ahead and place this uh, in our map somewhere. And um, so let's go ahead and hit G for game mode. And I'm going to find a good spot. This is a good spot, uh, let's say right here. And uh, I'm going to place one of these actors right here. So I'm going to add that. And uh, if we exit game mode, it's basically just represented by this giant sphere thing. So this is uh, the position that the cube map is going to be generated. Now, if you're not really sure what a cube map is, I'll go ahead and explain it to you real quick. Uh, it's basically. Um, sort of a 3D texture. It's hard if you want to think about it that way. It kind of represents the appearance of the six spaces of a perfectly uh, arranged and mirrored cube um, as seen from the vantage points of the six cardinal directions. So basically what this this actor is going to do is it's going to take a snapshot uh, at this position of um, uh, all six directions and it's going to stitch them perfectly so that uh, you can use the cube map um, as a reflection map. And it's sort of the cheap way of doing it instead of actually having uh, real reflection, uh, reflections. Okay, so with the, uh, this actor selected, hit F4 to go to the properties. And let's expand uh, scene capture actor. And uh, there's a texture target um, entry here. So let's go ahead and throw the, uh, the render to texture uh, right in there. Okay. Now we click back in the browser and we'll notice that the uh, RTT texture is actually updated with um, basically what the actor is seeing. So uh, what we want to do next is right click on this and create a new static. T actually before we do this uh, we need to change one more setting. So let's go to the actor, hit F4 again. We want to change the far plane. Um, this is how far it's going to um, uh, render um, the scene. So we want to pretty much bump this as high as it'll go. So I'll just um, enter an insanely large value. Okay, that, that should work fine. 
uh, we, we don't want it to clip too early and to miss some geometry. It'll render basically a black background if you don't uh, set the far plane uh, far enough. So now that that's set, um, I can go ahead and right click on this and create a new static texture. Uh, and uh, I'm going to call this en environment underscore um, CB for our CM for cube map and uh, let it do its business and now I set the resolution to 512 so what it's going to do uh, as soon as this is done is it's actually going to create six uh, 512 by 512 textures and then it's going to composite them into uh, a cube map so if I go ahead and um, uh, update the package um, I see that the six textures have been created and I have this new cube map uh, texture okay so let's go ahead and begin the process of actually creating uh, the material uh, just a quick note we can actually go ahead and get rid of this actor now uh, since we don't need it anymore so that's gone and uh, let's create a new material and uh, I'm going to put this in a different group called materials and the name of the material is going to be chrome uh, underscore M-A-T and uh, here's our new material.